It was quite a day in basketball. Yes, it was, Bill. The Lakers beat the Rockets 110 to 90. Wow, Trent, what a game. Kobe looked great out there, mounting over 40 points. He sure did. And in Boston, the Celtics beat the Spurs, so it looks like we'll have some pretty good competition this season. Now we'll go to Kara for some news. And now for breaking news. Franklin Sinclair, the mayor of Orange County, was shot and killed today by an unknown gunman. The shooter, not having been caught on camera, cannot be identified. While walking to his car after a meeting with the secretary, a shot rang out, killing the mayor instantly. Mayor Sinclair was always a dedicated politician. When in high school, his parents saw his potential from an early age and encouraged him to major in political science at UCLA. As a close friend with California Governor Jones, Sinclair was able to develop political skills quickly. After being elected mayor at the young age of 30, he brought a better side out of Orange County and its community. Although often accused of accepting bribes and being linked to some legal practices, no actual crime was ever proven to have involved Sinclair. Jones, also related to these accusations, was rumored to be Sinclair's partner in crime. Once again, no cases were ever proven to link the two. A man loyal to his country, state, and city will most surely be missed. I'm Kara Kane, reporting live from Orange County, California. Hey. How was your day? You know, average day. Didn't even bother to clean up. Yeah. You're home early. Uh, yeah, I got my mission finished early today. Uh, could you put this away for me, please? Yeah, sure. You're watching us again, that's not good. It's alright, they don't suspect anything. She's just a nosy neighbor. It's gonna be a problem. I mean, if they figure out what we do. They won't. I know it. Hey, listen, the office called. That mayor that you shot, it turns out that he was deeper into drug trafficking than we thought. It's good that you put him down. Politicians these days, you can't trust him. Hey, a pretty big politician runs our agency. Yeah, 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 well, he's cool. Go run, Paul. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go clean up. Oh, love you. <laughs> Jones, are you sure about this? What do you mean? You mean about the meeting, sir. Of course I'm sure. Maybe we could delay this meeting just a little longer. The announcement might even have public support. If we could just spread your popularity a little more. I won't delay any longer. I'm tired of this. I want power. After this meeting is over, I'll become the great leader of a new nation. Being bloodthirsty will not move California towards decision, sir. I'm right behind you, sir, but your popularity just isn't high enough right now. If we can wait a little longer, until your support's a little higher, then the voters would agree with you. They'll have to. I won't call off the meeting. The federal government will fall to its knees, or California will be crushed. You mean the nukes? What nukes?
nervous, Jones. Are you reconsidering? Like always, Sable, you are mistaken. By tomorrow I will have made the announcement, and California will have seceded. There may be resistance. I expect you and your men to be ready. Are the warheads in place? Yes. And the detonator? It's in the car. My men can detonate it at any time. They're exactly in place. So I can guarantee the effects will be catastrophic. Jones must have done it. Done what? How did he get a hold of WMDs? He's deeply involved. He's a strong politician. I doubt he has any trouble acquiring such things. What does he plan to do? Well, you know the common earthquakes on the state, right? Well, the theory is that a simple change in the continental plates below us would have severe consequences. What he plans to do is drill nuclear weapons deep into the Earth's crust and set them off, which would basically result in the devastation of the western seaboard. Millions would be lost. Well, there's no way we can let him live. No, we can't kill him. If we can get him alive, then we need him to talk. With his help, then we can arrest his contacts as well. Such as the infamous Sable. And besides, if we don't have to kill a lot of crooks, the fun of a world this is. Is that a word? Southern, Jones. We're in agreement? Yes, my friend. We are. Tonight, we make history! Alright. We move tonight. Get the men ready. Yes, ma'am. It's done now, there's nothing we can do about it. Jump. Go find the detonator. Check the governor's car. Where's Sable? Who's the guy with the briefcase? Can't find the detonator. Oh shit, he has it. Go find save.
please evacuate the building immediately. Cause of death? Stapler accident. Hey. Hey. How'd you know I was here? You like a dozen villages from all over the court. Well, you know, I heard screaming, sirens, explosions. I figured it was you. Yeah. Did you find Sable? No. It's alright. Don't worry, we'll find him. So what about your man? Stress at work. He killed him. Seems like how do that to you. It was actually a stapler this time. Oh, charming. So, did the whole California plot spoil now? Sure. What does it mean, sure? Well, everything's done. We got the detonator, bad guys been stopped. What do you want? Well, what does that mean? I mean, you always say that, sure. Is our problem good? Sure. Huh? Exactly. Uh, whatever. So, what do you want to eat tonight? We got a pretty good selection. What? Well, there's chicken or there's turkey. Surprise me. vacation. I agree. You're thinking the Bahamas? Looks like the boss is calling. Agents, report. We hear you, ma'am. The mission was a success. The target is neutralized. Good. Now that I have your attention, before you begin making plans for vacations in the Caribbean, I have another mission for you. It involves a senator in Texas. We plan an appointment for him six feet under. Just give us the dirty details already. Patience, Miss Len. You'll get your pina colada soon enough. Anyhow, this man has participated in gambling, extortion, murder. Not great things for a public official to be involved in. How do you know? We've been monitoring him for a while. We have him caught red-handed more than once. Is it hard evidence? Yes, of course it is. Why not just let the fuzz take him in? It just doesn't work like that. Even if we got him indicted, he'd corrupt the jury to swing in his favor. He just needs to be put down. Is this bigger than the possible secession of California? It hasn't quite manifested to that yet. If we move quickly, we can stop him before he becomes a threat. However, you will need to move quickly. Currently, he's in Austin, Texas. I need you to leave. Tonight. The Senator, ma'am. What's his name? Oh, Alexander Henderson, State Senator of Texas. We got a file on him. The suit makes him look fat.
Hey, Dick. How's it hey, going? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Good job, buddy. Ooh, this is nice. Hey, Holly. How's life? Pretty good. How are you, Robert? I'm pretty good. In the office now. Yeah, I heard about that. Good Thank job. Thank you. Hey, Lucy. What did you just call me? Oh, um... Nick, Nikki here. Natalie, I'm sorry. Look, can I make this up to you? Can I buy you a drink after work? You're fresh out of training, aren't you? Yeah, I am. I'm sorry. Learn your place around here, idiot. I don't have to be such a feisty one. Don't worry, I like that. How about that drink? No. Come on. I'm on Ted. Okay, just one. All right. After work? Sure. Mr. Wade, in my office, now. I'll catch you later, okay? See ya. Yeah, boss. Close the door. Mr. Wade, do you understand that it is against policy to form relationships in a profession where people get killed daily? I don't see stupidity written in your resume. One week out of training and you're already pulling strings? What is wrong with you? It wasn't my intention to intimidate you. Intimidate? Too often do I get cocky agents like you in my office only to be killed in the field. They act up in the office and freeze up on the job. They talk loud and they get shot. I know you're kind and I don't like it. And I will terminate your employment if this continues. Do you understand me? I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm just unsure of what it was that I did wrong. But just talking to my peers, I joined this agency with a clear desire to help my country, and that desire has not went. I mean, I was one of the smartest kids in my school. I've got a master's to prove it. I was exceptional in my training. A little socializing won't erode my use in this agency. Otherwise, I'll be shot quickly in the field, as you said, and I'll be a mistake short-lived. Either way, you win. Mr. Wade. You may not understand what I'm about to tell you, but I shape my agents so that they can stay alive. Men who are here deserve to be here, serving America. And you're an odd one for this job. You think too much. Irrelevant thoughts can get you killed in the field. Now you know your flaw. Fix it. So you'd rather be the unemotionless bastard than someone with a bit of soul left in it. Personally, I'd rather train heartless bastards than have to train hardy men who can't survive in the field. I know you've earned the right to be here. But you must understand that when we lose men like you in the field, our agency loses credibility and power. The corrupt men in our government are getting stronger, and we need men that can meet them when the fight comes. Can I depend on you, Wade? Yes, ma'am. Then prove it. I'm done with you. Get out of my sight. Oh, Mr. Wade. Just one drink tonight. Remember that. Smith.
Jeremy? should be here. I'm right here. Name's Noah. I'm with the CIA. So, uh, our good state senator isn't doing too well, is he? I'm afraid not. This is confidential, but I'm sure you know why we're here. Of course. I'm gonna help you get to him. Well, that's nice. Domestic operations are getting worse and worse for police. They need to bring in central intelligence just to keep control. In other words, they need our shiny boots to kick any ass these days. I'm sure we can handle this country without you guys, but if you insist. Trust me, Mr. Wade, you need us more than ever. Anyways, Senator Henderson will be at a meeting this afternoon, but he's bound to be at his favorite restaurant this evening, the Grand Eatery. I suggest you track him from there. Hello, thanks again. Lobbyist, you're big blind. Step on it. Yes, sir. Better 
with chicken or turkey. This is Agent Jackson. The senator is almost at the Grand Eatery. Stand by. Man, that meal was awesome. Yes, sir. Yes, the agents are on the run. My men are tracking their car. We'll kill them on the highway. Your leprosy is getting worse, isn't it? You know, Agent Christians used to believe that leprosy was God's curse to obscene sinners and failures. Careful, girl. My henchman answered to me, not to your money. I'm the boss of your men. I'm the boss of you. If you want to survive in this underworld, you'll listen to me. You're on my paycheck. I pay your medical bills. Don't fail me again. I will see to their deaths personally. Them behind us? I don't know, just keep going. Are you sure? Because there are cars behind I, us. I don't know, just keep going. God, it is them. Okay, God. There's an M16 in the back. Get it. What are you doing? Be right back. Oh, crazy.
Thing, huh? I'll deal with this next guy. Well, this confirms it was them. We knew it was them. We sacrificed a senator to give you a shot at these guys, and you still can't get them. What do you want me to say? It's not an easy task. They're the best in their field. Well, I'm the best in mine. And I have a few more connections. What are you saying? I know where they live. And I want you to kill them. Both. Even the girl? Even the girl. So what are we gonna do now? This field dressing again, it's dripping. Um, she would probably report to headquarters, talk to the boss about everything that's happened. Later, we can turn the game on. No. Like, don't worry about what happened, all right? We'll fix it, we'll take care of it. It's fine, don't worry about it. Just go fix it. Okay. Sandy's dry cleaners, how may I help you? Hi, I had a meeting with the manager. He said I should call him. I understand, I'll patch you through. State your code agent. 8675309SB. Agent, report. Mission was a success. Dark was neutralized. Okay, did it go smoothly? What do you mean? Explain. I mean, after Robert shot the senator, his guards just popped up out of nowhere and started shooting at us. It's like they knew that we were there. How is that possible? I don't know, but they knew. We've been through hell ever since we got to California. Somewhere deeper in the scandal is involved with this. How do I not know about this? I am opening an investigation tomorrow. You and Robert need to be there. Their influence reaches Texas. It's all over. Our agency. Something wrong? Agent, confirm. Code Scarlet. <clears throat> Dude, I was freaking out. 
freaking awesome. I know. Uh, it was in there. He's not ready to come out of the closet. Things are about to go western. Honey, have you been planning our escape? Our escape plan? Uh, uh, you don't have an escape plan in case dozens of mole and government henchmen attack our house? 
Yeah, I didn't think that went through. Dumbass, you're always supposed to prepare for the worst. Well, sorry, I didn't do a lot of work with this house and I really liked it. So typical. You're such a typical husband. Sorry for trying to be normal. I'll be back. This time in probably greater numbers. We probably won't live. Nice to know. So if the neighbors see this, they'll call the cops, right? Yes, yeah, still, these men have good connections. Chances are they've cooked up a story and they have dirty cops out there running an operation, making us look like the terrorist. A true operation in the eyes of the neighbors. So, but they'll set up a SWAT team or something? Babe, if they know what they're doing, then the feds are out there. So, we're pretty much screwed, huh? Yeah, that's OPS policy. In order to stop from other agents being compromised, they won't help those in need. Douchebag. Oh, yes, I understand that. Yes, I understand that. Get in here. I need this burned and that burned, too. Yes, I know. Hey, destroy yes. that? Yeah, take it out. In that box, too. Yeah, I know. I know. I, I know. Yes, I will fix that right away. Noah, did I call for you? What is this about? Nothing. It's confidential. None of your business. Get out of my office. My agency is above you. You'll tell me what's going on. Don't test me. Don't think that because I'm just a Fed, I won't play hardball with you. You will respect this bureau. That's irrelevant, ma'am. I'll find out anyway, so you best just tell me what's going on. Agent Wade and Lynn have been compromised. We have to wipe the office clean. Aren't you going to help them? They're agents. They know the situation and they know they're dead. You're despicable. You're going to let your agents go like that? Not only are they two of the best in this bureau, but there are very few agencies that can challenge these political figures anymore. Where are you going, Mr. Grant? I'm going to do your job. I'd have liked to go on that vacation. Get out. What? Go on, get out. What do you mean? Look, I've done the math. If we all stay here, then we're all dead anyways. You should go. What are you getting at? Alright. Next time that they move, I want you to go out the window, out through the backyard, and over the fence. It's not a very original plan, but you can make it work. What happens to you? It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. I mean, you're the best agent in the Bureau. The OPS has a lot of talent. Without me, the Bureau will survive, as long as one of us lives. That's my point. Without one of us, it'll... What? Okay, listen, just... I'll be behind you soon enough. Just go. You're a bad liar. You'll die if I don't stop you. The OPS can't lose you. I mean, I can't lose you. No. If you're gonna go, you need to go now. I'm not leaving without you. You know what you're doing, right? Yeah. The things that you're up on you to go. Natalie! Natalie, 
Just stay put. You're gonna be okay. Alright, you're gonna be fine. On your feet, you son of a bitch. Did you hear me? Hello there, sir. You any idea who I am? Yes? No? Maybe? How about I help you out and bring it back to your memory? Does that help any? Ring any bells? Give it to me. Robert Adams, eh? Born March 15th, 1983. Graduate from San Diego University in California. Hmm. Newly renewed driver's license. Oh, and you live with your spouse, Natalie Adams. Hmm. You know, all of this information in one wallet. Not very convincing. Take it. Why do you think that I don't believe anything that I just read? Why do you think I'm convinced by none of that? Yeah. Let's look through this thing a little bit more carefully now, huh? Uh-huh. What's this, huh? Robert Wade, a member of the FBI under the OPS division. Huh? You know... OPS. OPS. I happen to know about that division. Operations for Political Security. In other words, your job is to rid our political system of all the corrupt officials on a more murderous scale. Corrupt officials like Mayor Sinclair, Governor Jones, Senator Henderson, I know you've been after me for quite some time now. You've proven to be quite a trouble in my line of work. <laughs> It'd be in my best interest to kill you. But your spouse, as it were, came up with a better solution. You see, she was never fully on your side. She killed men, yes, but only those I would allow her to kill. She joined the LPS under my watch. She's given me information since the day she joined. You're a damned liar. <laughs> no, you see, Mr. Wade, it seems I'm the only one being honest right now. You see, she's not dead, if that makes you feel any better. <laughs> no, she's not dead. As a matter of fact, she's on her way to meet my boss. Your boss? The source. The source? You honestly didn't think I was the head of this entire organization, did you? Me and Natalie are the muscle behind all of this, but... <laughs> no, no. If we die, he'll find others to take our place. I don't believe you. You see, right now, I don't care. I, I really could care less. What does matter? Is that you're still of use to me. Miss Leanne agreed that in return for sparing your life, she'd give us her code. <laughs> How sweet. It must be true love. You see, the problem is that that only leads to your office. It doesn't get me into the building. Therefore, I need your code. Before I can end this all, I need your clearance. So, Robert, give us the code. And I'll at least spare your life. Hey there, Robert. Hey there, Robert. She was never fully on your side. She killed men, yes, but 
Only those I would allow her to kill. You there, Robert. She's given me information since the day she joined. If we die, he'll find others to take our place. The code, please. This only goes on as long as you want it to. That's it. He's of no further use to us. Waste them. You'll never find the source. Hello, Mr. Wade. Trust you've had a pleasant day. Wade. Hello, Wade. The boss would like to see you. All right, thank you. Hey, Amber. Yeah. Listen, uh, I found this slip of paper. It's during the Sable case. It's coded. Um, is there any chance that you could decipher this for me? For that? Hmm. Looks like your average cipher. Um, do you even have a key? Well, I was hoping that you could figure it out. You should expect me to do all the work for you. Listen, Amber, I wouldn't ask you to do this unless it was really important. Um, yeah, sure. Sure, I'll get right on it. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, does this have anything to do with Natalie or the source? It's looking that way. The files over there. Want to see me? Agent Wade, I. Didn't think you'd still be in the office. I figured you'd take some time off. Why would I need any time off? The Sable case isn't closed. There's work still to be done. Robert, that case is frozen. We have no more leads. For now, there's just nothing we can do. Look at it this way. Sable is dead, and that's a huge plus for our case. The best thing we can do is give us some time. I'm relieving you of your duties, Robert. Take a few weeks off, relax. And when you're ready to come back, we'll be here. I'm giving the file to Agent Green. So don't worry about it. We'll find the people who are responsible. For right now, just take some time off. We'll be here. Go, Robert. Yes, ma'am. Robert, hey. 
um, I did a random search for keywords that could relate to this code, and most of it came up gibberish, but under the keyword Iago, I gotta manage. So, I did some research, and I think that the term Iago relates to Shakespeare's play Othello, and uh, that obviously means betrayal. So, it's just a little paragraph from the source to this Trojan horse guy, but we've got dates, times, locations, everything. Now, they're planning to have a rendezvous in Sweden. If you leave now, you can make it. All right. All right. This is huge. I have to tell the boss about this. Wait. Give me an hour or so. I need a head start. This is really personal for me. Robert, who is operative Trojan horse? You know the boss isn't my journey little money on the side, Miss Lynn. She just preferred if it wasn't selling secrets. I only made a little bit of money. The source was a leader of all things. Sable and I were partners in crime. But I never killed an agent. I only allowed bad people to die once that were competition for you and them. I was going to tell you about it. I'm not here about what you hope to do. I'm here for what you did. Well, it's all of us for a long time. Are you gonna kill me now? Killed you five minutes ago. You threw your dead body in the river. Go. They're dead. All right, I'm heading back to California now. 